you know, as the, the saying goes, right, it could be raining titties outside. And I'd look up and just uh, get, get a, you know, a sack of balls in the face, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I couldn't buy a second date, like, if my life depended on it. And the hard part was, like, I'm a tall guy. So being tall, there's, like, nowhere to hide because it's, like, I tell you? Just down out more. I'm 6'6". Six, six. Oh, me too, man. Six, oh, six, right. six. There we go. Oh. So so you know what it's like where it's, like, you know, everyone's, like, oh, you're you're tall and girls, like, you know, yeah, love right? tall guys. <laughs> They're, like, bro, like. I was that tall dude for like years that girls would just be like, oh, who's your, who's your friend? Like, he's weird, like quiet or whatever. Like, uh, yeah, okay. Like he's interesting, but he's just there. And so it's like, it's like magnified effect because it's worse. Cause it's like, you have nowhere to hide. Like if I was just a normal height, right. I could just blend in and it'd be great. But now I'm just like this tall guy that just stands out and I'm terrible. So now like it magnifies everything. Yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, all right, I got two choices. I either like just stay at home forever or I like have to get good at this and own it. And so, um, you know, by doing a lot of knowledge seeking and, you know, finding a lot of different, um, you know, virtual kind of coaches in the space, um, I was very, very fortunate to be able to like take a lot of their different ideas and extrapolate them and put them together in order to figure out what really worked for me. So 